You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, Dominique Hawkins. First time go around with this stuff. I mean, it's it's exhausting, isn't it? You yeah. get the same questions over and over and over. I mean, it's crazy. But this is this is what Kentucky basketball is all about. Welcome to UK basketball. Thank you for having me. I mean, it's wild. I mean, this is, you're going to get used to this. This is it every day for your life now for the next four years. Yeah, I'm going to be fine with it. Uh, I know that this media stuff, and you're going to be on the spotlight. And so I'm definitely going to have to talk to the media and not push them away because I'm too not a person to do that. Obviously, everybody in this state knows your story. The run, you, you mean, you're Mr. Madison Central last <laughs> year. Ended with the fire truck ride right through town. I mean, that's, you, that's every kid's dream. And to follow it up, you get an offer from Kentucky to play basketball right on the hills. Of that. I mean, that's a week doesn't get much better for a guy in this state, right, does it? Right. That's, that's probably one of the best weeks for me in my whole life. Uh, uh, winning a state championship in Kentucky is a big deal for a Kentucky high school basketball player. Then getting to be able to announce my little secret that I had to keep for like yeah. five weeks was amazing, and it, it truly was a blessing, though. But, I was able to do that, and I'm glad that I was able to tell people I was going to go to the University of Kentucky. Now, see, you just said something I didn't know. You knew for five weeks before you announced that you were going to come here? Well, I, it, it was three weeks, not five weeks. <laughs> uh, I might say a little bit too much, but it was three weeks. I knew I was already coming. Yeah. Now, the, the, is a story true where Mark Wiesesta was on Coach Cal? Look, you got to go see this guy. you got to go see this guy at, at Madison Central, my high school. He comes to see you at the Sweet 16. Play lights out. I'm gonna come back watching the next night. <laughs> play lights out again. He saw you every game. I mean, is, is that story pretty true? Yeah, that story is pretty true. Uh, people was well. My cousin Marquis Hessel was put a little bug in his ear that he probably needed to come to see me and stuff like that. And he was able to come to my state games and I was playing very well. And he liked what he seen. I think, and you, you agree with this or not? He likes. He's, Dominique's got that dog in him. I think he likes that dog, that spirit, that fire you've got. Right. Do you agree yeah, with that? Yeah, he likes the toughness and he knows that I'm a great leader and that I'm able to uh, make people work harder in practice and that's what I'm looking for to do when I have to guard the Twins. I was going to say, you got a tough task this year <laughs> going against it. I mean, Andrew's 6'5". I mean, there aren't any point guards that are 6'5 like that. Yeah, that's true though, but uh, I'm going to try to give my guy, try to make him better his offensive game and stuff and he's definitely gonna make me better no doubt you know guarding a 6-5 point guard is yeah, that's a huge task like he said now some guys that played with you this summer they came out and said hey Dominique can play he said don't count him out he can play yeah. well I appreciate it. shout out to those guys who said that I mean these are former cats in the NBA yeah. said Dominique Hawkins is gonna play right uh, I feel like I could play uh, but whatever my role is, I'm going to play it. And whatever cow, if you give me minutes or not, I'm not going to pout about it. And I'm just going to play my role as best I can. Do you feel like you're a guy that's just going to, over the course of your career, get better because you're competing like that every day against future NBA guys? Oh, I feel like I'm definitely going to get better. Guarding the best point guards in the nation is definitely going to get you better. And with Coach Cal, you know he's going to recruit probably another five star point guard or shooting guard or whatever. And he's going to probably make me phase up and go against some in practice and stuff and that's going to make me bet. So you really knew for three weeks before you announced your came to Kentucky. You're, you're tipping your hat here. Yep, I knew. I knew for three weeks. What was bigger? Winning the state title, winning Mr. Basketball, or getting Cal saying, son, I want you to play for Kentucky? Uh, uh, I'm going to say, ooh, that's tough. Man. Yeah. I, I'll say winning it. No, I'm going to say Cal. Give me to <laughs> Kentucky. That's big because there's not a lot of kids that's able to be on this team. It's very special and it's a blessing for me to be on this team. All right, now we've asked the readers at KSR to submit a question. Okay. All right, so pick, give me a number one through ten. We'll pick the questions they, uh, they've got for you. Seven. Seven, all right? All right, here we go. <laughs> you got a bad one. This is from Go Big Blue Drew. If Brian Long stands on Sam Malone's shoulders, can Marcus Lee jump over him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thanks, Go Big Blue Drew. Well, Marcus Lee can jump pretty high, but I don't think he can jump that high. Yeah, that's a little crazy. <laughs> that's, that's too high. All right, now we got questions. We got 10 questions. We're asking everybody the same ones. Okay. All you guys the same questions, all right? all right? These are real easy. Favorite Twitter account to follow? I think it's Beyond the Buzzard. 
beyond the buzzer? Not mm -hmm. alanfeldhouse.com or something like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> what song would you like the UK to come out to this year? Hmm. I haven't thought about that, but yeah. I guess I could say one. Uh, you know, Floreal said a Hannah Montana song. Uh, I not know Hannah Montana. That's too what <laughs> in the world. I you have say, one you wanted to come out to? I will say uh, like a uh, like probably a uh, Drake or uh, Chris Brown, somewhere like that. What's your favorite thing to eat? Spaghetti. If you had a date with a celebrity, who would that celebrity Beyonce. be? Beyonce. <laughs> Funniest teammate on the team. Hmm. I'm say Julius. Julius Randle, he's got a couple votes. If not basketball, what do you think you'll do someday for a living? Sports broadcast. There's no money in sports broadcasting, man, I'm telling you. Really? No, I don't make any money. Uh, so I love it. <laughs> you gonna do the play-by-play -play for the Madison Central Indians? Uh, nah, I'm not, I, I would like to be a sports broadcaster, but I probably would want to become a coach, though, before yeah. I do that. What hidden talent do you have that maybe we don't know about? Uh, Probably that I can sing. Really? No. Oh, no. I was going to say, can you bust a little something out for us right here? Uh, no. Uh, let's see, my true talent, probably can walk on my hands. Really? That's probably uh, the talent. You going to do it for us right here? No. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Uh, Blind Side. Yes, I love that movie. Who's your favorite former Kentucky Wildcat? Good for you, since you grew up in Kentucky. Yeah. Who's your fa and probably, favorite? Probably uh, Tayshawn Prince or Keith Bowman. You know, Marquise will be upset. You didn't say him. <laughs> he probably, he's a big man. I don't I don't like big men. I got gotcha. you. They, they not that typical, like, they don't. Not yeah. special to me. I love when they shot and keep up. You know. Marquise was badass when he was at Madison Central. Though, yeah. I'm telling you right now. That's what I heard. Yeah. I heard about that. Last one. If you're stranded on an island with one teammate, who would you want it to be and why? I would want it to be... I would want to be Marcus because he could jump up and grab the fruit off the trees or whatever for me. What about the other survival skills? Like, you got to kill a rabbit or something. Don't you want, like... I could do that. I feel like do I'm that? fast enough to kill a rabbit and catch it and do, do all that stuff. Did you do a little hunting and fishing down in Madison? At I did Richmond? some fishing. I've yeah. never done no hunting. Before. Yeah. So you could survive on that one. I, I think own. I could. Probably yeah. could. I probably need one more person to live. I mean, the smile on your face, the whole interview says it all. I mean, you're tickled to death to be yeah, here. I am. It's a blessing to be here. And, uh, for a Kentucky guy to grow up in Kentucky, it's, it's truly amazing. Thank you, brother. Thank you.